Shalom brothers and sisters. So you wouldn't know this if you weren't looking for it because they keep it rather quiet unless you're searching. But Davos begins today again. The list of the world leaders attending the event is huge. The biggest congregation of global leaders returns Monday to the usual snow laden setting of Swiss ski resort town Davos with thousands of participants, including a hundred from India, set to discuss cooperation in a fragmented world. The theme of the 53rd annual meeting, Cooperation in a Fragmented World, is uh, convening with more than 2,700 leaders from 130 countries, including 52 heads of state and government. Now, while that's happening, former US President Barack Obama has arrived in Australia. He is expected to discuss strength in leadership and techniques for navigating an unpredictable future. Everyone talking to the solution that will arrive for the seven year tribulation. Now I want you to go to Psalm 2 verse 1 to 4 with me. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The word plot here meaning plot and plan. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. So while they sit together in Davos and meet in Australia and plan and plot together against God's anointed, and believers worldwide with their evil and nefarious plans of destruction, decimation, depopulation, sickness, war and disaster to bring about their beast system. The Lord laughs in derision and shortly he will begin dealing out more wrath than they can handle. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.